Hey guys, welcome back to the Rev and Evan channel. I'm here with my man Brian Wolf. Today we're going to talk about VCTs and Godzilla engines. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss out. We're going to be dropping some amazing videos coming up in the next few weeks. We got some great adventures that we're going on. But today we're going to talk about camshafts. We're going to talk about VCT. So Brian, what do we got? Okay, what we have here is a uh, stock uh, variable cam camshaft timing uh, unit. Uh, Ford uses this because this allows a lot of control of cam timing, which allows you to control like internal residual or exhaust gas recirculation without a, an external valve. So it's a really handy emission control device, but also you can use it to advance and retard the cam a bit to get optimum performance as well. So it's a really good device, uh, works great uh, in production. It's been in production for many, many years for many, many different manufacturers. Super good unit um, and pretty cost effective way to control uh, exhaust gas res residuals and emissions while also getting a performance benefit. So with all that good news, you'd say, well, that's super. Why would I ever want to change that? Right. And with that, um, here, we did have one of our customers and I did talk to a couple other folks in the field that did fail the stock fastener. Now this is not a bolt, this is a, truly a fastener. And it's a fastener that flows oil through it. And this unit um, did you know, fail on, on one of the customers. And when that happens, really bad things happen because the cam the shaft is no longer in sync with the crankshaft. You okay. bend valves, it gets very, very costly. Pistons and ugly. smash into valves. Yes. Yeah. So, so what we came up with is you, when you have to then install a cam, and you want to degree the camshaft in, you may say, well, I want it a little advanced or I want it a little bit retarded from a symmetric lobe sep separation. What I mean by symmetric is intake and exhaust valve at the same degrees away from top dead center. So let's say like if you have a lobe separation angle of 115, that would be your intake center line would right. be at 115, your exhaust center line would be at 115, that's symmetric. So some people might say, well, I want to retard it two degrees. I want to retard it four degrees for a little bit higher in power, or right. I want to advance it a little bit. And it's all to control cylinder filling based on where you want the power in the RPM band? Absolutely. Perfectly stated. So <clears throat> with that, these wedge uh, kits were developed. And what they allow you to do is if you put, you know, kit C in, that will give you a symmetric lobe separation with our Calais camshaft. If you go E or D, that will D would be two degrees retarded, E would be four degrees retarded, right. A would be four degrees advanced, B would be uh, two degrees advanced. And this is something you do when you're initially timing or setting up your camshaft. Exactly, it's what you're doing when you're, when you're uh, installing the engine and verifying cam timing. So with that, what I want to do real quickly is take this apart so you can see what's inside and how we get from this thing that looks like this to uh, actually putting the wedges in. So they're just four fasteners at the back. We zip those off. It is spring loaded. So to be always a word of caution, because it makes a little bit of a pop. So when this comes apart, there's obviously pieces in it. This comes off, this is very important, that needs to be reinstalled, but you won't need the spring anymore. So the spring can be pushed off of this unit. This is what interfaces with the ECU to tell you where the camshaft is. So you take this off the top plate, and then the bottom plate is also here, and it has a little spring. This is what locks the VCT in place uh, when uh, there's no oil flow. It's not perfect, so like when the engine's cranking, it can wiggle a little bit and advance and retard. So that's why with some of our cams, we have to limit the travel because if it loses control during crank when there's not oil pressure, you can have pistons, hits, valves with some of the larger camshafts. So we take that out, and then also what we do is we put this out, and all these little um, seals come out of the engine. So this is a, a wedge or a seal that goes to the outside of the unit. This is a little spring that pushes it against the uh, 
outside housing to seal the different cavities when you're advancing and retarding. Um, so the oil the is timing. flowing through the cavities to control the timing of the VCT unit. Right, and that's what this valve does. You see two holes, so if the hole's flowing through one, it's advancing, the other it's retarding. And that's how it keeps, uh, how it adjusts the cam timing in the running engine. So this comes apart, as I said, fairly easily. What I would suggest you do and what the instructions will say is, when you take it apart, take photos, although the instructions will have them. But if you're gonna say, well, hey, I can make that myself, I don't need to buy the kit, which is fine. Um, just, just take photos because what you want to do is make sure that when you put it back together, you line this up, which is where, this, where the lock was, to there. And then also you align with the cavity that was that control cavity that we talked about at the beginning, which is this one up here. You can see the two stops here. You don't see those stops in the other. Okay. So then from there, we just... These wedges fit fairly tightly, fairly snug, so I'm not gonna pop these in and out, but they do slide in and out. You may need to tap them in with a little hammer. You'd put those in, and then you would reassemble the unit. It's pretty much that simple. You check cam timing, is it where you want? No, it's not where I want. You take the wedges out, put another set in. But to be open, when you the, cam, the, the, the tolerancing today is so good with the aftermarket camshafts, right? It's normally within a degree one way or the other once you set that. So you shouldn't have to be going back and forth and moving that two degrees at a time, but right. you might need to. Oh, that's fantastic information, Brian. And this is a kit that you sell? Yes. So where can, uh, where can they pick this up if they're okay. interested? Uh, WillisEngines.com. That's a great place to be. WillisEngines.com, Brian Wolf. Rev and Evan, we're doing all kinds of great stuff. Thanks for watching the channel and come back for more.